Hey there, spider owners. Brandon here with SlingMods.com. And today we have our rear end run, brake, and turn signal LED kit for the 2020 and up Spider RT and RT Limited. We here at SlingMods are always looking for new and innovative ways to enhance both looks and safety to the Canon Spider and have even launched a bunch of lighting mods for the 2020 and up RT, such as our sequential fenders, dual A-arm LEDs, and our dual floorboard running lights, just to name a few. But we haven't really launched much for the rear end until now. Once again, we've teamed up with our friends over at Trick LED to bring you guys our 2020 and up RT rear run, brake, and turn signal LED strips. This kit features two LED strips that are encased in a patent-pending smoke black tubing for protection against the elements and for a super stealthy look when the lights are off. But when the lights are on, they come alive with a bright red glow and feature integrated amber turn signal functionality. Not only increasing visibility during the day and at night, but they also add a sophisticated yet dare I say badass look to your rear end of your RT. The kit comes with 100% plug and play connectors and everything needed for a straightforward installation. So now allow me to walk you through the installation process. Now we're going to be doing the installation today on our 2020 RT base model. If you have the 2020 RT limited model, you will have a rear trunk in this location here. If you have the limited model, you will need to reference your manual on how to unlock remove and unplug the rear trunk prior to installation. Start by pressing down on your key and turning it clockwise so you can unlock and lift up the driver's seat. Then reach your hand underneath and back to release the two clips holding the back seat in place and just lift it up and off. Now carefully lift up the rear deck panel and tilt it up and back to unhook it from the front. Next, open your left hand side saddlebag door and unscrew these four plastic screws. Now these are really just push pins so you don't have to unscrew them all the way, just enough to release the pressure on the clip. Then use a 10 millimeter wrench and T30 Torx to remove this bottom nut and bolt. Now use a small flathead screwdriver to release the door shock so that you can unscrew these two T25 Torx screws. Next use an 8mm socket to unscrew this silver screw on top and then unscrew this T20 Torx screw next to it so that you can remove this cover piece and unscrew this T15 Torx underneath. And then do the same thing for the other side unscrew the four plastic screws, the bottom nut and bolt, then remove the shock, and two screws underneath it, followed by the two on top, so that you can remove this plastic cover, and unscrew the small screw underneath, so that you can pull the panels aside just enough to reveal the taillight harnesses. Then pull the white safety clip back to unlock it, push the release button to pull it apart, and then plug both ends into the new harness from the kit. And then repeat that process for the other side. Now add a little dielectric grease to both ends of your blinker modules to help prevent possible corrosion over time. Next, take the blinker modules and plug them into the four pin plug on that harness. Plug in the LED strips. And then turn on the ignition to test the strips.
And if everything looks good, test fit the LED strips to the inside edge of this groove with the LEDs firing towards the middle so that you can see how they'll fit. Then take an alcohol prep pad and thoroughly clean the surface area. And let that sit for a minute to dry before wiping down the same surface area with the included primer wipe. Once that's dry, peel back a small section of the protective backing tape, line it up where you want it, and then press down firmly to adhere it in place, peeling back small sections of the backing tape as you go. And then do the same thing for the other side. Peel back a small section of backing tape, line it up where you want it, and then press down firmly to adhere it in place, peeling back a small section at a time as you go. Now tuck in your wiring harness and reinstall your panels and hardware in the reverse order you removed them. So if you want to add a little extra attention to your rear end, be sure to head on over to sleemods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab one for yourself. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date with everything spider. I'm Brandon signing out. Till next time.